My PS5 just got delivered. Now I need to unbox this thing, get Fortnite installed, and find the best controller settings, and then try to win a game. By the way, this thing was really expensive. Please subscribe. All right, open it Fortnite for the first time. This is Fortnite on the PS5. This is actually kind of cool. I usually play Fortnite on a $2,000 gaming PC, so this feels so much different. This is the normal DualShock 5 controller that actually came with the PS5, but I actually have this custom one from AIM, which has four paddles on the back, along with this rubber grip instant triggers, clicky buttons, and different size thumbstick. One thing that I'm noticing right away is that there is still quite a bit of input delay. I've played on the PS4 before and it's a lot of input delay. This feels a little better, but still nowhere near as good as PC feels. Is there not even a way to show your FPS? I want to see those nice hundred and what is it? 120 frames per second, I think. Okay, so this PS5 is pretty cool, but now I need to win a game. And to do that, I need to find some good settings. To find those settings, I found the best PS5 player in all of Fortnite. And I believe that player to be TK. TK plays on both PC and PS5, and he does pretty good on both, but he's actually the number one ranked console player in NA East. Just from console tournaments, he's made over $60,000 in Fortnite earnings. And he literally does so well in basically every single console tournament there is. So here's the settings that he uses. So I'm gonna be using my .085 slide hold time, the default camera stuff. Then for build and edit, TK uses a 1.9 multiplier. For look sense, he's using 43% for both horizontal and vertical. He doesn't use any boost on his look sense. Then for ADS, he uses 10% for both horizontal and vertical. No boost on his ADS sense either. He doesn't use a look dampening time. These settings are on linear. And then for dead zones, he uses 10-10. So it looks like these are some relatively plain settings. Nothing crazy going on. But apparently they allow TK to be the literal best console player. So now it's time to go try to win a game with these. While I'm waiting here for the queue, of course, do not forget to use code Carter2K in the Fortnite item shop. It's greatly appreciated. Bro, we got clouds and stuff? This actually looks so weird. Hopefully, even though I haven't played console in a really long time, because I have this controller, I should have a pretty good advantage over a lot of players. Even the sound sounds so different. This is so weird. These trees and bushes actually look pretty cool, though. I actually think for my first game right now, I might just be in a bot lobby. Maybe not. The game definitely looks better, but it is definitely hitching because it looks better. No, bro, there is no way. How did this dude even have two launch pads that early in the game anyway? Oh, I actually didn't click my battle. Bro, this is so weird. Does this thing not even have ammo? It just goes unlimited. That was literally so hard to see. I didn't even know what I was shooting at. Uh oh, that's a tank. I'm dipping. With as weird as this feels right now, these settings are actually doing pretty well. They definitely feel super controllable, and I feel like they're very good for consoles specifically. Oh my bro, building feels so weird. How does this even work? Bro, just dropped down so far and died. I think most players that play on PS5 do use a little slower settings compared to how they do on PC. Like, even though TK uses the same controller on PC as he does on PS5, he still changes the settings depending on which platform he's on. So for PS5, he's a little slower. For PC, he's a little faster. Whoa. My aim was literally all over the place right there, and I still hit the dude. Look how weird the zone looks. I've literally never seen it like that. Holy! No way, let's go. This literally doesn't even feel like the same game that I normally play. This is so awkward. No way. Where is he? No way, bro. This is so hard. I get in a box with someone, I literally can't see him and it's so dark. I feel like my aim was struggling kind of a lot. So let's see how the zero build mode compares to the building. We're dropping tilted, even though I think it's literally like half destroyed with today's update. No 
what is that? I literally feel like I can't hear anything right now. Honestly, I don't know if it's because I don't actually have my headset plugged into my controller because I don't know how to get audio otherwise, so I have it plugged into my PC still. But the audio quality on this definitely sounds way worse than my PC. No way, bro. You no, know, I think the only way that I'm gonna be able to do anything is I'm gonna turn off cross-platform play. So even though these queue times are probably gonna take a really long time, I'm only gonna play against players, I think, on PlayStation. My plan is to actually use the PS5 in the PlayStation Cups or the platform cups. I'll still probably suck, but I really wanna try because I have a way better chance of placing well on a platform cup on PS5 versus playing controller on PC. That's like so much harder. Okay, maybe this doesn't actually work. It's been five minutes and I don't think this is going anyway. Let's see if maybe I can hop in a 1v1 and actually do anything. I really need to learn how to play PS5 if I want to play these tournaments. Oh, was that a 198? Wait, it wasn't. I can't even see the damage because of how the game looks. Oh, that pre-fire. Okay, this guy's actually so boring. I gotta go play a different game. Even with my headphones plugged in the controller, the audio still sounds terrible. I was honestly expecting a lot more from the PS5. I know it's only like $500, but I feel like people were talking it up quite a bit. I literally dealt 20 damage and we still won. This aim assist is really strong though. Ah, it's honestly so difficult. Okay, buddy, you're using a Zen. Honestly, overall, I think that my expectations for PS5 were just too high. I thought it was gonna have like almost no input delay, but the input delay is almost giving me a headache with how bad it is. And fighting against PC sweats on mouse and keyboard with zero ping is literally impossible on this thing. So I don't really think that I'll actually really even be playing on this. I think the only time I'll truly be I think the only time that I'll truly be playing on this is in like tournaments and stuff or maybe for some videos. But hey, as I'm saying that, I'm doing a little bit better. Let me know if you want to see more videos of me playing on the PS5. I think it'd be interesting to see how good I can actually get on this thing. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching.